Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Runmore, and today we want to help you pick the right Hoka or Ultra model to fit your foot. So today I thought we'd do kind of a fun exercise in comparing model to model Hoka from Ultra. We've been carrying both these brands since we opened our doors back in 2014, so I feel like we've had a really good exercise in seeing how these shoes have grown, we've seen how the models have changed, and it's really fun for us to sort of pick up one and say this is this version of this shoe, and this is the same version from another. And I think we get asked a lot of questions on both of these brands because they are sort of industry disruptors. These are two brands that have been around for about the same amount of time that do things very different from some of the predecessors that have been out there that are sort of doing the same thing for so long. Not to, not to knock another brand, but like, I don't know, sometimes I pick up like, a, like an A6 Nimbus and I can pick up a new version versus one like 10 years ago and I can like see a lot of the same stuff going on in there and it's been kind of fun when you see different brands that have taken the old way of doing stuff and just thrown it out the window and done their own things. So these are two brands we get asked a lot about. So the differences between the two are pretty apparent first when you look at it. Ultra is very famous for their rounded foot shaped toe box and Hoka is famous for their big soft cushion. All Ultra shoes are set on a zero drop platform, so your heel and toe are on the same platform. All Hoka shoes are between four and five millimeter drop, and they feature a bit of a curve. It's called their meta rocker platform. Think of like a rocking chair on a shoe. So these shoes are designed to sort of naturally glide you from heel to toe. Ultra shoes are a little more natural. They're designed to kind of help you feel a little bit better in posture, a little better natural way from the way that sort of we were meant to be running with the heel and toe on the same platform. Gives you a little bit natural sensation running, you feel the ground a little bit differently and let your toes play to give you better balance. So two different shoes and you'll see a lot of those technologies and a lot of that same philosophy as we go through the line. Some of those tried and true characteristics remain the same from model to model. Every Ultra shoe we show is gonna be zero drop. Every Hoka shoe is gonna have that same four to five millimeter drop with that Hoka roll to it. Two different brands, two different philosophies. There is no right or wrong. I tell people, you know, if there is one right way to do a shoe, I would have one shoe on my wall. But that's sort of the beauty of what we do in here is we're able to say, if you like this, you might like that. If you have a problem with this injury, this might help with it and so will this. So this will be a fun way for us to go through real quick, spend some time on each one so you can help make the right decision on what shoe is right for you. And also if you've been running in shoe X, why it might be fun to try version Y from another brand without compromising any of the shoe and some of the stability or cushion or some of the bells and whistles you like on your favorite model and how you can find the same version on another brand out there. And I thought we'd start here at a mid-cushion neutral because it really demonstrates how wildly different these two shoes are in shoes that are technically classified exactly the same. This is the Hoka Clifton 8 and this is the Ultra Escalante 3. These are both mid-cushion neutral shoes. These are everyday trainers. They both are 140 bucks. They're both designed for everyday workouts for a neutral runner. But look at how different they are. These are two philosophically different shoes with the same end result. So if you're somebody who's wearing an everyday shoe and you're wearing an X uh, Clifton and you were like, what'd be the right Ultra for me to check out? This would be the one for you. Again, how different they are. You have your foot-shaped toe box. You have sort of a more dense midsole on the, on the Escalante. It's bouncy, it's responsive, it's a zero drop and a small stack height. Here in the Clifton, we have a five millimeter drop. It's billowy, it's cushy, it has a tall stack height, it has that roll to it. Very different looking shoes, same end cu uh, customer. Kind of weird, right? Moving up, a light stability shoe. These are shoes we pull very frequently in the store. You know, somebody comes in and has a little bit of mild pronation issues, whether you're somebody who supinates or somebody who over pronates. These are shoes that we pull very frequently. The Ultra Paradigm, excuse me, the Ultra Provision kind of goes with the Hoka Arahi. Same thing, same price point, $140. Same use, mid-cushion shoe, everyday running, maybe going to like a half marathon or longer, maybe something you'd wear every day, but somebody who needs a little bit of stability. And same thing, both of these shoes have different ways of handling the pronation. The Ultra Parad uh, Provision, the, uh, the stability in the shoe is closer to the heel. Back further, you can feel the shoe almost pinching the back of your foot. So if you're somebody who the arch sits a little bit further back, this shoe is a great option. This shoe has their J-frame, so this has pronation help all the way up, all the way along the foot. So if you're somebody who maybe wears the shoe in the middle, but then finds themselves trailing to the medial side, for example, on your shoe, this shoe might give you a little bit more stability further up in the foot than on the other option. So the Arahi goes in line with the Provision. Moving up to the big boy category, our max cushion neutral shoes. These are our most cushioned shoes from each of their manufacturers. Same idea, the price points are a little more at 160 bucks versus $165, but this is their most soft, 
max cushion neutral shoe from their category. This is the Ultra Torin 6, and this is the new Hoka Bondi 8. Sorry, I got a lot of numbers rolling through my head here. But these are your max cushion neutral shoes. These are your, maybe if you're doing a marathon, maybe you're someone who's a little bit bigger, harder on shoes, maybe you're somebody who just wants the most plush feeling shoe out there, this is where you're gonna end up. Again, these are both neutral shoes, but if you're somebody who has heavy pronation one way or the other, might not be the right model for you. But if you're somebody who has fine arches, medium arches, high arches, you wear the shoes down the middle when you're looking at your tread line, you just want as much cushion and comfort underfoot as you can find, these are the two options. So if you say, hey, I've always loved the Torin, but I wanna dip my toes in the Hoka water, check out the new Bondi 8, it's great. Great. or vice versa, you need a little more width, you're tired of the bulkiness of this shoe, you want the same cushion, but maybe with a little less sort of a in your face feel to it, the Torin. And really the Torin of all the shoes I carry is the most sneaky cushion shoe because it doesn't look like it'd be all that plush, but trust me, this is a very plush shoe. Again, two different ways of doing their midsole and presenting their cushion, but the same end result and the same end customer base. Moving up to our max cushion stability. So these both these shoes are their really big stable shoes that have great support both inside and outside. You can look at the Ultra Paradigm and you can see it has a built up medial side and it has some guide rail technology on the lateral side. Same idea as trying to hold your foot from rolling one way or the other. This shoe also is more stable than the Provision. So if you're somebody in the Ultra Provision and just didn't feel it was quite stable enough, this would be where you'd pivot. Same thing, if you're a Bondi runner and you want to give yourself a little bit more protection, you find that your tread line is more on one side or the other, you just feel like you need more arch support, check out the Gaviota 4. Same thing, if you're a Gaviota person and you want to try the Bond, uh, try an Ultra shoe, check out the Paradigm. They're both great. We have great success with both these shoes. You can put both of these shoes on and feel very stable and grounded, but yet still feel like you're getting a lot of cushion underfoot. These are two also probably the two most durable shoes on the lineup that we saw. Part of it is because they have a much bigger stack height. They have nice outsoles to them. You're going to get a little bit more wear out of these shoes because it has different densities built into the shoe to give a little extra stability. So great options. While still giving you a max cushion feel, you're going to get better arch support. So somebody who rolls in, rolls out, or even if you're just neutral but just likes that hugging feel around the heel. I sort of talk about like a horseshoe that kind of wraps your heel in place. These are two great options. So I hope this kind of helps break down the differences between these models internally from the brands and how they compare against each other from model to model and brand to brand. If you have any questions on how this food chain goes, or if you're somebody that has any like, I don't know, I have beef with the fact that you didn't pick the Ultra Rivera, feel free to leave it down below. I think this was a really fun exercise and I enjoyed going through the whole, if this is to this, then that is to that. It was like doing an SAT thing on shoes. So, Thank you so much. Feel free to leave a question down below. And if you want to purchase any of these fine products, head over to our website. We'll have a link down below. Use promo code RUNMORE. You'll save 10% on any of these shoes and we'll ship them out for free. Um, as always, thank you so much. If you could do me a favor, like and subscribe to our channel. It's a great and free way for you to support the store. And uh, hopefully we'll see you around town.